Brad! What? But... You're me. Yeah, I am you, but I'm from the future. So, I need you to make a video about time travel and paradoxes. And it's very important that you do. Why? Because if you don't, this whole universe could probably explode. Here, I'll leave this here. You're gonna need it. Wait, but I don't... And he's gone. A paradox that involves time travel is called a temporal paradox. Basically, or at least according to Wikipedia, there are three main types of temporal paradoxes. The grandfather paradox, the bootstrap paradox, or the ontological paradox, and the predestination paradox. The grandfather paradox is basically one big what if. It states that what if you somehow went back in time and then killed your own grandfather before he married your grandmother. So he would be dead, obviously, and that means that one of your parents would never have been born. And that means that you would never have been born. But the thing is, if you'd never been born, you couldn't have gone back in time in the first place and killed him. So then your grandfather would have been alive still, but then he'd still be alive. Which means you would have gone back and killed him, which means he would have been dead, which means he wouldn't have existed. Which means he wouldn't have died, and it just goes on and on and you can <laughs> It hurts. But this paradox doesn't have to apply to killing your grandfather. It can basically apply to anything that you cause that impedes you being able to go back in time in the first place. So it could also be you going back in time and then stopping the invention of time travel. Because then time travel would never have existed. Since you couldn't have gone back in time in the first place. So then it gets all weird there. And there are a lot of theories as to what would happen if a grandfather paradox were to occur. Some state that if a grandfather paradox would happen, as if you did go back in time and kill your own grandfather, then you would simply just cease to exist, and that would be the end of it. Some theories state that if you did that, then the universe would basically just explode and cease to be because you basically ruined everything. Nice going. Some theories believe that a grandfather paradox would be impossible to ever happen because the past is fixed in stone and can't be changed. So if you did go back in time, you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't physically be able to kill your grandfather because he's already lived through his life. And there are some people that believe that if a grandfather paradox happened, then you would simply stay existing, just you'd be in an alternate universe than the one you were previously in. The bootstrap paradox got its name from the phrase, listen when not better bootstraps. And a bootstrap paradox occurs when somebody in the present brings information to the past. And that information in the past is then used up to the present. When somebody in the present brings that information to the past, and that's used up to the present, and so on and so on and so on. And it's another infinite loop. In this loop, it's not clear where the information was started. So basically, the information is the source of the information itself which is really confusing when you think about it. The predestination paradox is basically the same thing as the bootstrap paradox, except that this involves influencing events. Let's say you were in the present, and you traveled back in time, and you needed to influence events so that you would be able to travel back in time, and then influence events, and another infinite loop like that. An example of this would be if you went back in time now, and gave Thomas Edison a light bulb, and told him to invent it. So when Thomas Edison was not the light bulb, so then you would take the light bulb and then go back in time and tell him to invent it, and it goes on like that. So the source of the light bulb is non-existent because nobody came up with the light bulb here. It's just the idea for the light bulb came from the idea of the light bulb. And a lot of times bootstrap paradoxes and predestination paradoxes basically happen at the same time. And I think that's it for the video. Oh wait, no. How does this work? Brad!